Uh, hello guys, I am Dr. Parviz and today's uh, topic is uh, pediatrics and we will discuss uh, neonatal jaundice. Uh, in neonatal jaundice we have that 60% uh, of full term babies develop neonatal jaundice and however 80% of preterm babies within the first week uh, of life uh, develop uh, neonatal jaundice and then we have uh, uh, in history what we ask we will ask them uh, what is the when uh, you notice the jaundice and in then we will also where uh, did it start it started in the trunk on the face or where then uh, after starting at face where did it progress did it go to the trunk uh, if it started to the trunk did it go to the uh, uh, peripheries or if it started in the peripheries uh, did it go to the trunk like that? How is the baby? So sometimes uh, is baby according to you good? Is baby drowsy? Is baby not feeding? Is baby uh, on baby formula? Is she breast on breast milk? Uh, was she having fever? Was there vomiting? Was there rash? Or the wet is uh, or the nappy is wet? And uh, did you see any color change in urine or in secular or anywhere? So, mom's what is the mom's medical history? Is mom diabetic? Is mom hypothyroid? Is mom uh, G six PD? And then we will see that where is the she originally from? What is the ethnicity and pregnancy? How were the investigations during pregnancy? Where all the scan is normal? Uh, where sugar test is normal? Blood group was normal? Or swab for bug was normal? And uh, then we will see was delivery preterm or full term? Was there fever or rash before or during delivery? How long was the delivery? Was there birth asphyxia, meconium staining, difficulty with uh, instruments, resuscitation? Was res baby did baby need resuscitation? Did baby cry immediately? And then uh, family history: liver or blood-related problems in family. Uh, are there any eye problems in previous kids? And then we'll see what is the on support examination. Uh, concentrate on uh, body weight and head circumference. Hematoma, rash, hypotonia, cry of the baby, fontanelli, and vitals. Temperature, pallor, distribution of jaundice, and dehydration. We concentrate on these things. Hepatosplenomegaly. We must examine the baby for hepatosuplenomegaly. Investigation is full blood examination, total bilirubin with suplet, LFT, and relevant diagnostic tests as well. Hey guys, um, you know that uh, there is there are different causes in different periods of uh, time, and when the baby is one day old, baby is two day old, three day old, one week old, second week old. So jaundice it starts at different days. If it starts at day one, and then again I I may tell you that jaundice may be unconjugated and it may be uh, conjugated. So when we see that uh, in unconjugated, usually in the first week it is unconjugated, and in if it is conjugated, it has only two uh, it has only two causes which we will discuss. And you remember that there are on the first day, day one, it is always, almost always, it is uh, unconjugated. And the cause is usually most often A, B, O, and R, H. You remember this thing and then, we, you may also try to remember that we do full blood examination. We may do full blood examination and hemoglobin is more important. We do group of mom and baby, blood group of mom and baby and we may discharge the baby and rule out we may rule out infection admit to pediatric regular room and we may give phototherapy if total bilirubin is greater than 250 and give at the bedside of uh, mom and if hemoglobin is less than 11 exchange transfusion if hemoglobin is uh, like this we give exchange transfusion and then we have a hereditary sephirocytosis. 
it is autosomal dominant you have to remember it is autosomal dominant you have to remember it is unconjugated bilirubinemia it is d1 if you remember these four points you don't have to forget these four points all your life and then you do fb you may forget this our melamide admit call pediatric registrar and look for total bilirubin hemoglobin decide and suplenic tummy so the, you have to remember this suplenic tummy and autosomal dominant unconjugated and d1 about hereditary sclerosis you cannot forget these are four mcqs these are very important in every examination in the d1 you have to remember it may be abo rh and hs if you talk about neonatal jaundice remember d1 it is abo rh and hs and the second thing you remember these are unconjugated and then we come to second and third day if, is, if they talk about second day if jaundice starts right second day it is very exaggerated physiological response you have to remember what it is it is exaggerated physiological response it improves in two weeks you have to remember it, it improves in two weeks and three weeks in return child is active child is not sick child is active he feels well it is again unconjugated you again do full blood examination, total bilirubin, decide management, the red flag to mom, diagnosis of exclusion. We know what is red flag, we already discussed it. So, uh, we are going to discuss red flag, I will tell you. Breast milk jaundice, it is date second and third, it is common, uh, extends beyond two week, with two week time, diagnosis of exclusion and happy child, clinical unconjugated cessation of uh, BM not indicated give red flag and continue uh, breast milk continue uh, breast milk uh, and then we come to uh, this uh, uh, first week uh, we say that well, we talk about galactosemia galactosemia is very important it's autosomal recessive pattern and few days to weeks um, so the bilirubin here is conjugated uh, then we have we do uh, full blood examination and total bilirubin in galactosemia you remember that it may lead to cataract formation it is autosomal recessive it appears in first week and then urine for reducing substances is important when they talk about urine for reducing substances you think about galactosemia and MDT and galactose free formula uh, genetic screening and ophthalmologist then uh, you refer to ophthalmologist to do genetic screening and galactose free formula is very important and uh, this is uh, this, this is very important corner of the presentation this galactosemia then we call it biliary atresia it appears in the first week child has four chronic uh, dangerous symptoms sick child abdominal pain plus dark urine plus clay, clay colored stool you remember this abdominal pain dark urine clay stool Kelly stool, you see sick child, abdominal pain, dark urine, Kelly stool. You go on talking to yourself. It is biliary atresia first week, conjugated emergency. This is the only emergency in the neonatal bilirubinemia. And you admit pediatric registrar, full blood examination, LFT, explain to mom, go for surgery, go for transplant within 70 days. Okay, then we go for hypothyroid. Hypothyroid is not an emergency, but it must be diagnosed within two to three days the jaundice starts and the child is floppy. If they say floppy child within two to three days, what you will do? You will do uh, a TSH, loud cry, depressive, fontanel, heel prick and hernia, neck lump, unconjugated bilirubinemia, right? So full blood examination, total bilirubin, MDT and thyroxine. You remember guys, uh, that uh, high about hypothyroid child is floppy you remember word floppy you remember word uh, uh, only floppy floppy if you remember floppy two to three d floppy this is hypothyroid gsk speedy you remember it is x-linked recessive ethnicity sudan african food meds intake and clava beans, sulfuramide, antimalarial, unconjugated. And G6 PDSA, we do this total avoidance and genetic screening. Among this, you remember that it is when it, we talk about uh, unconjugated bilirubinia, it is galactosemia, 
it is delayed atresia, it is conjugated. In all other conditions, it is uh, unconjugated. Okay. What are the red flag signs of uh, neonatal jaundice? Worsening jaundice, impured Glasgow coma scale, not feeding well, fever, change in color, stool or urine. These are these are red flag signs. All unconjugated bilirubin, guys. Every unconjugated bilirubin. You have all unconjugated bilirubin. You do what in unconjugated bilirubin? You do uh, need an audiometry done. In unconjugated hyperbilirubin, they need audiometry done. 6 by 52 and regular follow up for milestones. All conjugated hyper need urgent referral to a pediatric gastroenterologist. The fact is that red sign is fever and impure Glasgow coma scale. Unconjugated do audiometry, conjugated refer to gastroenterologist.